Alec Boyer first jumped on the music scene as part of a boy band, opening for the likes of George Michael, Simon and Garfunkel, MC Hammer, and others. Striking out solo, Alex's Africanized pop style has garnered over 1 billion views on YouTube. Alex's story before the success, though, was both heartbreaking and inspirational. This is Alex's story. I was born and raised in London, England. My mum pretty much raised me. I don't know who my dad is. When I was about uh, 11 years old, she uh, was going on vacation three weeks. So she had me stay at an uncle. After three weeks, she didn't come back. In fact, I didn't see her for eight years. Well, I was a pretty angry kid growing up. I was frustrated, I was mad at my mum that she was never around. I was mad at my dad because I didn't know who he was. I was mad at God because I felt like he just gave me a crappy life. I was homeless at the age of 16. I used to perform on the streets so I could make money. I just felt like an absolute zero. I felt like I just walked the streets of London and just nobody even cared. I was eating food out of trash cans. I remember always saying, one day I'm going to perform in there. Performing at the Royal Albert Hall. All my other homeless buddies were like, oh yeah, dream on, you idiot. And I just had this real strong feeling that I had to talk to the audience. I said, if you guys go 200 yards to the front of this door, go down the steps and you see a trash can. I says, I used to eat food out of that trash can. My name is still etched in it, AB. And I said to them, don't stop your kids from dreaming, man. Don't kill your kids' dreams. Don't kill your spouse's dream. Don't kill your friend's dreams. And sometimes you might find that that's all they got. <laughs> dreams aren't stupid. Dreams are real. In an often dark and dreary world, that becomes our beacon of hope. 